Dota and memes are like pancakes in maple syrup. And as a fan of the game, it's important to stay up to date with the memes. Give me mana. It's a war. Mana. Mana. Today we dive into the history and the origin of some of the most popular memes in the world of Dota 2. Just do it. This meme originates from the Spirit Breaker's greater bash ability, which has a 17% chance to proc a bash upon right click. However, the hero is notorious for perma bashing enemies and locking them down, making it seem as if the bash chance is far greater than 17%. The 17% spam is often used sarcastically when any hero procs their RNG skills in quick succession making it hard for the enemy to retaliate. One of the most recognized organizations in Dota 2, Na'Vi enjoyed massive popularity in the early days when they won the first international and were the team to beat throughout 2012 and 2013. However, after losing out narrowly in the TI3 Grand Finals to Arch Rivals Alliance, Na'Vi's form took a dive and the team has never regained their legendary status since then. While it started out as a positive chant for Na'Vi fans initially, used whenever the team showed any signs of success, over the years the phrase has taken a more sarcastic undertone, accelerated by the fact that Na'Vi have struggled for majority of the seasons. In all senses, Na'Vi is back has now come to mean Na'Vi fans might as well just give up, and the phrase can be slipped into most conversations involving the organization. Over the years, we have witnessed some epic grand finals in the TIs, such as the ones between Na'Vi and Alliance at TI3 and OG and PSG LGD at TI8. However, one TI that stands out for having a notoriously bad grand finals is TI4, which saw Newbie lift the ages by taking down Ouija Gaming 3-1. While TI4 had massive hype behind it for what was an insane prize pool at the time, the entire tournament, especially the Grand Finals, was a massive letdown. A complicated format saw only 8 of the 16 teams on the main stage, and the death ball meta perfected by the Chinese teams back then led to incredibly quick and one-sided games. In the Grand Finals, the usual West vs China storyline was already missing, taking away the usual hype and rivalry from the Grand Finals. The games were incredibly one-sided and lasted fewer than 30 minutes, with the longest game going just 26 minutes. The phrase still better than TI4 Grand Finals is now used to describe boring or one-sided games, wherein the TI4 Finals is the absolute lower limit of boring Dota and nothing can be as disappointing. You should probably turn that down. Um, this is a family show. Uh, no one needs, uh... This epic meme comes from the Shanghai Major, an event infamous for production difficulties and delays. Yeah, but this lineup of, of complexity had to play a very fast-paced game in order to win against the cores of EG, and they just couldn't hit the timing. Did they say GG? They, they uh, definitely um... didn't. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. In an effort to keep the panel alive and the viewers glued, amidst the long breaks and pauses, the host James 2GD Harding brought out his entire arsenal of jabs and edgy comments, all served with a healthy dose of British wit and sarcasm. Here to talk about the do's and don'ts of Dota 2 and the cans of cunts of the team. But soon after, he ended up getting fired from the major, midway, with Gabe Newell explaining the situation on Reddit with the line, James is an ass and we won't be working with him again. While what exactly was the trigger point for Valve was not clear, many speculated that it was 2GD's actions behind the scenes rather than the ones on the stream that sealed his fate. The meme is immortalized in Dota 2 history. Given Gabe's choice of words and the fact that a company known not to make many public statements explicitly called out a personality, the meme finds use to this day with variations such as hashtag fired and hashtag 2GD popping up whenever something related to production or delays happens on stream. This epic meme comes courtesy of a Dota player named Jackie Mao, or as he is popularly known as, Eternal Envy. E.E. <laughs> e. Sama has always had a love-hate relationship with the Dota community and a popular meme is 50-50, which is used to describe the unpredictable nature of E.E.'s e. playstyle. Get the, Take the gem. Get the gem, Get the gem, Get the gem. Get out of base. 
take oh. What are you doing? Envy. Envy. I mean, I applaud his commitment for the kid. This refers to the 50% chance of any of EE's plays making him look like either a total stud or a total dud. The meme mostly finds place on Reddit, but people like to title shared clips from EE streams with 50-50, which obviously keeps the community guessing whether as to they will be amazed or they will be rolling on the floor with laughter. In 2013, while playing for Roxkiss, Solo made a bet worth $322 against his own team and was caught and even admitted his crime. While he was banned from Starladder events for a short while, Eventually, the whole incident was forgotten and by 2016-17, Solo was competing at the highest level with some of the best players in the world. However, the 3-2-2 meme has stuck around, originally used to refer to any form of throwing and match-fixing. With the Lincoln Spear behind him, it's still a dangerous thing if Jay ends up dying in this engagement and he gives that rapier over to the Morphling. So while Morphling is dealing with the Creep Wave, Jay comes in and plays objective-based gaming. He's still got Lincoln Spear and then Slider Fisk got jumps off out here. Defensive Spirit, can he finish it? Jay! Oh, Rape is on the deck. It is used even nowadays whenever a player is having a bad game or someone makes a questionable play, making it the most popular Dota 2 meme out there. I'm coming home.